In this session, we will create a circular crack using Substance Designer. If you want to see a more realistic effect, you can watch our Parallax Occlusion Mapping Unreal tutorial video on our channel. Select the file in the top left corner and click on the substance graph that appears when you press the new button. Set the templates to metallic roughness. Next, create a shape node and select the pattern as paraboloid. Set the scale to 0.81. Create a tile sampler node and connect the shape node you made earlier to the masked map input. Set the X and Y amounts both to 25 and set the pattern to disk. Set the scale random value to 1. Position random value to 4.91 and masked map threshold value to 0.51. Then, set the color random value to 1 for irregular input values. Create a distance node and connect the node you just made to both inputs of the distance. The distance node produces a linear gradation outwards from all pixels, with a grayscale value exceeding 0.5 based on the inputted mask input value. The source input is an image combined with the mask input. For the distance node, set the color mode to grayscale, maximum distance to 256, and combine source slash distance to only source. The distance determines the extension range of the cell, and setting it to only source and combine source slash distance results in a solid color result without gradient from the source input. Set the distance mode to Euclidean distance. Now, connect an edge detect node and set the edge width to 1.63 and edge roundness to zero. You'll be able to see a crack created roundly centered on the middle. Exporting as is may seem unnatural, so we will add some noise. Create a multi-directional warp grayscale node and add a clouds to node. Connect the noise to the intensity input and the previously created crack image to the input. Set intensity to nine. Currently the cracks are still spread out straight. Let's make them wavy. Create a crystal one node, set the scale to 28. Then connect it to a blur node and set intensity to 5.05. Create a warp node, connect the crack image you made earlier to the input and connect the blur node to the gradient input. Setting the intensity to 0.23 will make it look more natural than before. Now we will create a circular crack that wraps around. Create two shaped nodes and set both patterns to disk. Set their scales to 0.78 and 0.84 respectively. Then create two multi-directional warp grayscale nodes. Connect each and create a crystal one node with scale set to 41 and connect to both nodes intensity inputs. For the smaller circles, multi-directional warp grayscale node. Set the intensity to 11.07 and the warp angles degree to 190. For the larger circle, set them to 15.92 and 122, respectively. Now we will create a ring by subtracting the smaller circle from the larger one. Create a blend node, put the larger circle in the background and the smaller one in the other input. Set the blending mode to subtract. Create a multi-directional warp grayscale node and connect it to the input. Create a Perlin noise node, set its scale to 14, and then connect it to the intensity input. Set intensity to 20 and then invert the grayscale. Create a blend node, connect the previously made crack image to the center node and the node you just made to the top. If you set the blending mode to multiply, you will see the two nodes combined. Now let's do some additional work to utilize it in actual 3D first. Let's create a base color. Create a shape node, set the pattern to hemisphere, and set the scale to 0.79. Then invert it through invert grayscale. Create a blend node, connect the earlier made crack to the center, and connect the inverted node to the top. Set it to multiply. Set opacity to 0.55 to ensure the cracks in the center are not obscured. Now, connect a gradient map node and set the gradient as shown in the video and connect it to the base color.
For the normal image, connect the blend node made just before the gradient map to a blur HQ grayscale node and set intensity to 2.29. Then connect it to a normal node and set intensity to 3. Now, we're going to make an ambient occlusion texture. Create a blend node. Connect the inverted circle node before merging to the center node and connect the node with the drawn inverted circle to the top. Set it to multiply and set opacity to 1. This texture is a preliminary height map created to darken the inside of the circle for a sense of depth. Now, connect an ambient occlusion HBO node. Set the height depth to 1 and radius to 0.7. This node automatically creates an ambient occlusion map based on the inputted height map. Now, connect it to ambient occlusion and you'll see clearer shadow parts. Lastly, we'll create a height map. Again, create a blend node and connect the node before connecting to the ambient occlusion HBO node to the center. And connect the circular band in the crack node before blending to the top. Set the blending node to soft light and set opacity to 0.42. Create a sense of depth that changes continuously by making it relatively brighter as it goes out from the center. Now connect it to height and it's complete. In Substance Designer, it may seem a bit flat, but if you watch our Parallax Occlusion Mapping Unreal tutorial video and apply this texture directly, you can see the texture applied in 3D on the plane.